She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, we're all running around to go into picnics and potlucks, and you have to take things when you go there. And, you know, today I thought I'd share with you an easy recipe that you can take and share with your friends. You know, I saw in the news the other day that avocados are making a comeback. There's all kinds of avocados out there, and, you know, one of the sandwich chains are, you know, saying avocado sandwich this and that, but they've been around forever, and, you know, they're good for you, too. Well, today we're going to make them with butter. It's going to be an avocado butter that's great on crackers on a little plate, and you can take them to a picnic or potluck, and you'll be the star. I'm going to show you how to make my avocado butter up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my avocado butter. One medium avocado. Half pound of butter. Two tablespoons cream. Half teaspoon seasoning salt. Two tablespoons lemon juice. Half an envelope of unflavored gelatin. Two tablespoons of boiling water. Half teaspoon garlic salt. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my avocado butter is super simple. I took a half a cup of the unflavored gelatin and put that in with the um, actual cream, the two tablespoons of cream. So that's softening up and that'll get kind of, I don't know, firm a little bit there. And I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to take the avocado, which is just a medium avocado, put that in my mixing bowl. There we go. I took the skin and the little seed out. You can make a little plant project with that later on. But we're going to pop that into the bowl with the half pound of butter, which happens to be two sticks of the butter. So we're just going to dump that on in there, just like that. It helps if it's a little bit soft. That way it'll mix up just a little bit. And there we go. Dump that on in there into the bowl. And we're going to turn on the mixer just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit so it doesn't fling out of the bowl there. There we go. And mix that around a little bit. There we go. Now it's getting a nice pretty green color. And that's why the lemon juice is in there to make sure that that green color stays in there. Now I have the um, actual gelatin cream mixture here and we need to add um, uh, about two tablespoons of boiling water to that. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons until the rest of the gelatin melts down. So we'll just mix that around just like that. There we go. Mixing that up so it melts all down. There we go. Make sure that you get all the chunks out of it. There we go. Now, we're going to add our mixture of this into the avocado butter. There we go. Goes right on in there. 
And we also have the two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. That goes in there to make sure it stays pretty green. There we go. And we have a half teaspoon of garlic salt. That goes on in there too. There we go. And I use seasoning salt. Um, you can use your favorite kind um, and you can do it to the taste too. Um, but about a half teaspoon will work. So there we go. Dump that on in there. There we go. Gonna give it a little speed up here. There we go. Now this is great with any kind of cracker and you can put it down on a pretty plate and serve it on your buffet table or a picnic table and just really is a great recipe. Takes a little time to firm up a little bit um, in the actual refrigerator but um, on the buffet table it looks real pretty once you spread it out. There we go. We'll just mix that down here just a little bit. Make sure that's well mixed. There we go. Get out of the beater bars. There we go. There we go. I'll give that a minute to mix around and I'll check back with you in just a moment and we'll put this out on a plate and take a look at it. And there we go, we have my avocado butter here. Look at that. Look how pretty green that is. Almost like a pistachio or a mint green. Um, but you can put it in a nice pretty bowl just like this. And um, we're gonna put crackers around it in a moment. But it's great on Melba toast or bread rounds or maybe some crackers or tortilla chips or maybe even some corn hot buttered corn with this wow but just put it all in a nice little bowl there and grab some crackers and just put them just like that right around maybe not on the counter but actually on the presentation just like that and just have people dip the chip just like that mmm wow Taste that avocado and the garlic and the seasoning salt and wow, I can imagine this on corn too. This is so tasty. Mmm. I might have to eat all this myself, which you probably shouldn't because it's butter. But if you get a chance to make this, take pictures and send them to me at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. And don't forget to visit my website for all my recipes. That's TrailerParkTestKitchen.com. And follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. There'll be some more cooking shows soon, so be sure to subscribe. I love you all, and I hope you have a nice, great summer and enjoy this avocado butter. I'll see you all back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Is it my store at jolinesugarbaker.com?